All right, so what's up, people of YouTube? It's your boy, the Hobby Collector, aka the Universal Gamer, here coming at you guys with a media remote functionality video for the PS5. Now, I want to do this real. You know, I literally just got home from work, so I want to, I want to show you guys exactly what I do when I get home from work. Now, normally, what I have to do on a PS4 is uh, independently turn on the TV, turn on the PlayStation 4. And then go to the YouTube app, scroll through, wait to boot up and stuff like that. What the PlayStation 5 does as far as, or should I say the same as my PlayStation 3, which is turn on a TV. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. Bam, press that. Boom. Blue light. Wait for the TV. Two, one. Boom. TV zone, so the PlayStation 5 turns on the TV. This is a super rare Sony Bravia, by the way, just to give you guys a, you know, just a pro tip or just a little history lesson. I had this, this is the longest I ever had an HD TV. I had this TV for literally about 12 years. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the first HD 3D TVs, and it's one of the last 3D TVs you can you can find. You know what I'm saying? That comes with the active shutter 3D glasses. You know, so this is a 3D TV. You know, so. Yes, sir. So, after turning on the PlayStation Fizzle, the center button, button, excuse me, I just got off work, so you know I'm kind of still jittery and energetic and stuff like that. You know, drove the drove the Beamer today. You know what I'm saying? But yes, sir. So you press the enter button. I'm about to get rid of that too. So everyone to buy BMW X3 2007. Let me know. I need some work, but I did a lot of work. So next, I just simply, once I'm logged in, just press the, uh, you know, YouTube. Cause that's the first thing I go to as soon as I get home from work every single day. It never fails. And look, boom, who video is that? Uh, wait, no, that ain't my video. I thought it was my video. Look, like, look just like my video for a moment. I want to say who. <laughs> and I'm feeling stupid. I'm keeping that in there too. Blooper. Yeah, then you can scroll up and down like that with this. That's how you scroll back and forth. I said, let's go to a football highlight. And then like I said, this is your enter button, pretty much your X button. So skip your ads. You see, I still got the iron right here, trying to figure out what to wear and stuff like that to work. So finish showing you guys real quiz, Nick. I haven't tried the microphone yet, so I'm not gonna really be showing you guys that. Actually, you know what? I was not doing that anyways. I'm about to try it right now, but so anyways, yeah. So let's say you want to fast forward. You got your fast forward button right there. It's the same thing for Netflix and everything. Fast forward, it'll jump just like that for YouTube. And then you can press play or you can press uh, enter. But I'd rather press play because it's right there next to the skip, you know, button and stuff like that. Press play. If you want to pause something, pause it. Oops, my bad. Pause it, you know, boom. So I'm liking this remote because it does, it takes care of a lot of things. I don't have to worry about, let's say I didn't want to have my headphones on and stuff like that. Or if I had wireless headphones, I can just turn my headphones on. And just use this remote. I don't have to worry about grabbing my controller yet if I don't need it. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to go back, of course, that button right there takes you back. Um, start button. What I love See, what I had to do on the PS4, if I wanted to, like, let's say, you know, through the PlayStation YouTube app and stuff like that, let's say I want to subscribe, if I want to visit the person's channel, what I have to do is, on the on the controller, is, like, click on the video, and then click, you know, there's too many clicks and stuff like that. So, on a controller, you can hover over any video, let's say I like that video right there, I can hold down, I think I hold down this button, or I think this button right here, let me see, I think it's the middle button, hold down that. Yeah, so there it is, the middle button right there. And then you can go to play, not interested. Let me go ahead and not interested. Save for watch later, save the playlist, or go to channel. You know, so you can go to the channel and it's super simple, real easy. I can go to subscribe and stuff like that right at the top. You know, so it makes your navigation, you know, controls and stuff much more fluid and intuitive. Yeah, and the only reason I got, if you're wondering why I got my ps5 sitting on top of this box the only reason why is because my m cable yeah i'm using this i'm using the m cable you know what i'm saying 
running, even though the Xbox, I'm gonna say Xbox, the PlayStation 5 is uh, powerful enough, I'm still got the M cable running through that bad boy to give it even more, you know, crispiness on the TV screen. So this M cable, I got the shortest length because these damn cables are expensive. This is a hundred dollars. The other one was like 200 or 170 or something like that. So, and it wasn't quite long enough to reach all the way down to the ground because the HDMI cable on the PS5 is low, you know, so. And for the people out there that didn't snag a PS5, you know, um, let me show you guys. I'm gonna pop an image up on screen. Well, it's gonna be too late by the time you guys by the time you guys watch this video, but but I post an image on Instagram and on my Facebook and stuff like that, showing people that more pre-orders is going up, you know, tomorrow. Um, so that's why you gotta follow me on Instagram too if you want the best of me, of course. And then on top of that, I do even more, you know, as far as, far as my creativity on Instagram and stuff like that. So you end up being even more surprised of what I do. So yes, sir. It's been your boy, the Hobby Collector, a.k.a. the Universal Gamer, and I'm about to go ahead and get on me some games, man. I only got one day off. Supposed to be my two days off, Thursday, Friday, but they want me to come in Friday, so I can get one day off. That's what happens, man, when you're a boss, and you got to, you know, take care of business, and you're a manager. You got to make it do what you do. And just as a little bonus clip, I want to show you guys how fast Demon Souls boot up. You know what I'm saying? When I go to Demon Souls, how fast it boots up from the start all the way to the game, to the gameplay. This shit is quick. So, Demon Souls, start. You guys seen I just got home. I haven't even turned the PlayStation 5 on yet until right now, until this video. So. Then the intro screen, skip that. Skip that. Continue. Already inside the damn game. How long was that? This video right now, as I'm looking at my uh, screen, is 51 seconds. So, it haven't been not even 45 seconds to a minute yet. And I'm already inside of a game. That's crazy. Because you know how long this would normally take if this was like the PS3 Demon Souls? Jesus Christ, that is crazy. Let me go ahead and show that all the functions as far as the volume and everything. Because... I'm pretty sure everybody that's watching this video didn't watch my unboxing when I showed this working with my, with my um, you know, Sony TV. So this cuts up and down the TV, you know, and it works out the box. You don't have to worry about downloading really nothing. Up and down the TV. Just turn the TV, that TV button, or yeah, the TV button right there. Turns off the TV. Turn it back on. Also, when you turn off the TV, it turns off the PS5 too. So you see the PS5 actually powering down. See, there's no signal. PS5 was powering down because I turned off the TV. See, yeah, it's flashing. It's about to get ready to turn off. See, this went to standby. It detected that I turned the TV off. Man, come on. Sony? Microsoft ain't doing no shit like this. <laughs> so I'd be saying about Apple when it comes to Apple versus... Uh, um, fucking the Samsung phones, like, oh, like it's it's like once you start using Apple devices, you gotta understand like the way they interact with each other and the way the usability of it is just different. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then when you go back to those Samsung phones, they feel all cheap and like even though they got more better phones, they still feel cheap and finicky and stuff compared to iPhones and stuff. And the way the iPhones work with iMacs and iPods and all your laptops and everything just works together. You know what I'm saying? It just works. And then iTunes and, you know, come on. And then even a signal input says PlayStation 5. All by itself. I didn't even change it. I didn't even set it to nothing or nothing. It just says it. I automatically text what it is. Man, I can't even make this shit up. Tell me why as soon as I stopped filming that video, my M cable stopped working. I had to hook up my other HDMI cable to my PS5. I thought it was my damn PlayStation for a moment. I'm about to say, man, already. I just got them bragging about your ass. You already fucking up. But let me try this again. Let me let me see something. So unplug that. I know my M cable was doing this before with my Elgato and with my uh, Xbox, kind of. Unplug that. I know I got to do a little bit of cable management. This is just for right now, for YouTube videos and stuff. Okay, it's work. Wait, no, it's not working. Oh, the sound is working. Oh, shit. So now I'm going to get the sound. Unplug, I'm going to unplug that USB for a moment. 
like something to stick signal how the TV was talking to the PlayStation that the M cable was getting jealous or something. Cause right after I did that little, up oh, there we go. Right after I did that one little thing where I turned off the TV and then it turned off the PlayStation, that's when that happened. But that never happened before. All right, folks, I'm out of here.